Praise God this morning. What a wonderful uh, morning to wake up in the presence of the Lord. I, you know, I have a word for us this morning. And I want to I want to I want to talk about something this morning. I don't know. The Lord just put it on my heart. He said, how can prosperity preaching be the gospel? So I'm going to read something to you right now. Well, prosperity preaching, one thing about it, it is um, something that, that, that promotes success of worldly things, uh, uh, obtaining possessions in this world, obtaining um, greater finances, reaching dreams, selfish dreams that 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 that, that, that ambitions, stuff like that. That's what that's what uh, prosperity preaching promotes. It's actually not the gospel at all. It's it's using Jesus's name and motivating others with false uh, prophet spirits false spirits, seducing spirits. And I want to uh, prove that to you this morning. Right here it says, um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the love of the Father is not in him. Therefore, he doesn't have the spirit of Christ. You can use Jesus' name, but it doesn't mean they have the spirit of Christ. It tells you right here, for all the things that are in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And these things, these things that they're preaching about, prosperity, being successful over here, being able to do all this right here, being able to, are of the world. They're not of God. It says, and the world passeth away. That's the point. Because the world passes away, and if you cling to those things of the world, you'll pass away with them. And uh, right here it says, and the lust thereof will pass away. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Hallelujah. I want I, I just want to encourage you that today, that, that, that there are false things out here. And, you know, you just take heed to the doctrine. You, you stay in the word of God. He's going to show you these things. You know, these things of the world, they're... Don't set your heart upon them. Don't set your heart upon these false ambitions that are going to perish. Put your heart on, on God's purpose that He has for you. God's uh, and what is He? What did He predestine us for? To conform to His image, to do His will. Those who do the will of God abideth forever. But if you don't do the will of God, then you're not going to abide it forever. And God doesn't. None of the Bible, none of the New Testament points you towards worldly things. It only points you to, towards spiritual things, um, obtaining grace and mercy from God. God bless you. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Y'all have a blessed day. Praise God and love.